Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you guys today about all of my top favorite beauty products. That First thing I want to talk to you about is skincare. So of course, you always want to protect your face for any harmful sun rays and anything bad like that. So SPF is a must in your moisturizer before you moisturize. However you want to put SPF, SPF is always very important. Even if you're not wearing makeup, you want to make sure you're wearing your SPF at all times. Even if it's cloudy outside, even if there's no sun whatsoever, you have to wear your SPF. So, mine that I've been using for a while now is from e.l.f. e.l.f. Beauty and this is the Beauty Shield and it has SPF 50 in it. And usually for makeup or beauty, you don't find SPF that's more than 15 so or about 20 further than 20 you don't usually find but this has SPF 50 in it and this bottle I believe cost I don't know like $16 I don't remember I bought this a while ago but I got it from Target and it was for an affordable price and I've been using it ever since and there's still a lot of product in there I do have to say that when you put it on if you're not going to wear makeup that day, it's going to give like a type of like purple or like white cast and it kind of feels a little bit grainy. So you may want to put something over that. If not, I would suggest um, finding another type of SPF moisturizer for your face because this does feel a little grainy on the hands and like residue-y, I guess you could say. But I absolutely love it because I always put my foundation right over it and you can't really tell anyway. Wet n Wild Compact Foundation. I have them in two colors. So the first one is Buff Beige and the second one is Honey Beige. I just purchased Honey Beige today because I feel like Buff Beige kind of makes me look a little bit more pale and I'm not this pale. I'm currently wearing it right now and I try to put like bronzer just to like warm it up but it's just a little too pale for me. I think this will be perfect for the winter season. So I got myself the darker one and this one is more of a olive tone rather than beigey tone so I absolutely love this one thing I do love about it let me show you I love that when you open the compact first of all you can carry it with you and you don't have to carry a big ass tube of foundation inside your makeup bag because you have a risk of actually spilling it in your bag and getting it all over your shit so I love this this little compact because one it comes with applicator two it comes with a mirror three everything's in one everything's in one spot so basically you just take your applicator and you like press it into the sponge foundation and then you just pat it onto your skin it takes like less than less than a minute I'm gonna say it takes less than a minute just to get it all over your face and your neck and it's already on like there's no problems with it this also has SPF 15 in it so that is extra care for your skin it does have an expiration on the back so you will be able to know when to toss it and I think that's a wonderful thing like this is my go-to foundation since I'm always like working and stuff like that I like to put on my makeup at work and it's just easier for me that way the mascaras I've been absolutely loving. I just, I got this about a month and a half ago. And I just got this a few weeks ago, probably two weeks ago. Two or two and a half weeks ago. And this is the Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door. And it is very good for um, lengthening your eyelashes. If you have really short eyelashes like I do, very sparse eyelashes like I do, it really gives a lot just to bring out the length of your lashes and I absolutely love that because my lashes are basically non-existent. But this one here mixed with this one here, this one is the, which one is it? Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and I got it in, I believe it's black is black, I'm not sure, it doesn't really say, but I always get black is black. If they don't have it in black is black, then I got black. Um, but I absolutely love these mascaras because this one always just gives extra oomph to my to my lashes. They really bring them out there. And then this one, with this one together, absolutely brings out my lashes to their full potential. They come out to play. Like, I can't even believe it. Look how stunning my lashes look. My lashes are basically non-existent, so this is a big deal for me. And the mixture of these two absolutely work together for me 
Another thing I've absolutely been loving has been lip liners. Well, I wasn't really a fan of lip liners until um, Orpha Zanali made her collaboration with Morphe, Morphe Brushes. And um, she came out with vinyl and it came out with, as a set, it came out with the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And ever since she came out with that, I've been... <laughs> I've been like stunned and in love with lip liner. It actually does help with lining my lips and um, it helps me reshape my lips because my lips are not as full, especially on the top. So it does help with giving that bit of volume on the top. So I've been using lip liners ever since Orpha Zanali, shout out to her, has made her lip set. And I've been absolutely loving Kylie Cosmetics lip kit. I have the, the lip liner somewhere. Where are you? I don't remember where I put it, but it's somewhere in my bag. And I also have these Wet n Wild wait, First Gel Lip Liner. These are their first gel lip liners. And this is another lip liner that I got from Wet n Wild. And it's one of those like cheap $1 ones or $2 ones. But this one here is called Bear to Comment. This one is more of a... I guess you could say like a maroon or I don't know. It's like the perfect orangey brown. I guess you could say this one I've been using with my nude lipsticks mostly. This is it's really good on its own and it's also very good with a lipstick. So this one I've been absolutely loving. And then this one I just got it today. I haven't used it yet. But this one is called Gone Burgundy and this is just a burgundy lip liner. And they're very thin. They don't tug at the lips when you do apply them. Which I... Who doesn't love that? Because I hate that shit. I hate it when you're like trying to put it on. It just brings your lip with it. It's not even going to function the way you want it to. But those actually glide on very nicely. And you can actually fill them... Fill your lips in with the product. And it will just be a great standalone lip liner liner lipstick. <laughs> um... So this one here is the other one from Wet n Wild that I told you about. And this is basically like another kind of, it's like a color in between the two. It's more of a darker brown. Yeah, this one's called Brandy Wine. And I'm actually wearing it around my lips right now. It doesn't look as dark as it shows here on the pencil itself. But it does line my lips perfectly, especially if I'm going to wear a nice nude lip, which I'm going to get into in a few minutes. Um, and this has been like my go-to combo for, I'm going to say, the past three weeks. And I've gotten nothing but compliments on it by everyone around me, basically. So what I'm actually wearing right now is that lip liner by Wet n Wild. Uh, what is it? Burgundy Wine? Yeah, Brandy Wine, not Burgundy Wine. Brandy Wine mixed with my da -da -da favorite... KKW Beauty Lipstick in the number 3 Nude. So I'm sorry, it looks very used, but that's how I use it. And it gives me the perfect peachy nude lip with a nice, like, I don't even know, like a nice lined, defined lip, I guess you could say. So that has been like my go-to lip for the past few weeks. I've also been loving... My Kylie Cosmetics, they look ragged, I know, but these are my Kylie Cosmetics lippies. This one I actually got with the lip kit, which is right here, and this is called All Nighter. It came with the lip liner as well, but the other two I just bought the singles. So this one here is called Kristen. This is like the perfect light pinky red lip, line, um, lip liner, lipstick. I love Kristen. I actually bought Mary Jo K and my mom fell in love with it. So I gave that one to her and she gave me hers, which was Kristen because she felt like Kristen matched my personality better and it just happened to work out. So the formula of the Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks or the liquid lipsticks is absolutely stunning. If you haven't gotten your, your hands on her lippies, you really have to because I feel personally that they have a great consistency. The texture is not drying out for a liquid lipstick. Most liquid lipsticks do happen to dry out your lips. And you guys already know my lips are already very, very dry. I always struggle with that. And I don't ever, ever, ever have a problem with her liquid lipsticks and my dry lips. 
Another thing I want to go back to is the KKW Beauty Lippy. I don't have to reapply, just like the Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks, I don't have to reapply it several times throughout the day. I've had this lipstick on since 3 p.m. today. It is now 10 o'clock at night and I haven't had to reapply this lipstick whatsoever. That's after eating, that's after drinking coffee, that's after talking and licking my lips, that's after just everything. I haven't had to reapply it so even if it does feel like my lips are, are very not very dry but like they're missing the lipstick because after a while it doesn't feel like it's there at all. It's already lightweight but you know, you know when you're wearing your lipstick and they, you could tell that you're wearing it. Even after that feeling has gone, I always have to double check in the mirror, like pull it, pull down my visor and be like, oh, wow, I still have my lipstick on. So that's what I love about these um, Kylie Cosmetics and KKW Beauty Lippy is that you don't have to reapply it. So that means you're saving a lot of money and also a lot of product because you don't have to reapply it so much, which I, of course, who doesn't love that about that? Another one that I absolutely love the color of and it makes my teeth look extra white is this one and it's called All Nighter. She recently came out with this one and I love this because it's kind of like a coral red and it's kind of like a pinky coral red and it just goes so perfectly for the summer. I just love it and I've got nothing but compliments every time I wear it. So thank you Kylie. She knows. She knows where it's at. So I bought this one today. And this is called Master Chrome. I know. I'm late. I'm late with this. But I have to try it. I didn't put any highlight today. Damn, I just I just realized it. No wonder. So let me just show you guys a quick swatch of what this Master Chrome uh, Molten Gold Highlighter can do for your face. Because I was just like stunned when I saw it. So let me just get a brush. My very dirty Morphe, <laughs> Morphe M501 brush. I'm just gonna like swipe lightly some of the product and you can see it right there right there let's try it out shall we I haven't put on highlighter in a while wow this is pretty oh, wow, this is gorgeous I love this I can't believe I forgot to put on highlighter today I like it. A little bit goes a long way. And you guys already know I don't like to put too much highlighter on, right? <laughs> That's a lie. We all know it. Wow, this is really nice. I like it. Let's get the nose. Wow, this is pretty. So this is in Molten Gold, which I absolutely love. You guys know I die for names of products. If you guys go to my website, buxandboutiques.com, you will see the names of my products. And it's all everything is considered highly. Like, I always sit there and think, what should I name this product? <laughs> because I love catchy names and phrases, and I just love that shit. It, just, it makes me buy the product, so that's why I do that with my own product. So this is this Super Stay by Maybelline matte ink in the color amazonian and you guys know i'm a i love nude color lippies and all this stuff i love liquid lipsticks i am not sponsored by any of these brands so if you guys want to sponsor me you know just hit me up you can always contact me anytime anywhere i got some products that i wanted to make my nails like longer and healthier because they were not healthy they had like ridges and damage and all that nasty stuff that just doesn't look good on regular nails so I just want to get my nails back to their healthy habitat and I just got rid of the acrylics I got rid of the nail uh, the gel nail nail polish and I just started painting them myself I do my own manicures now so if you guys are interested in a manicure video please let me know in the in the in the comments box below because I would definitely love to make a video of that for you guys uh, I am of course a beginner not a beginner beginner but like I'm not a professional when it comes to painting nails or anything like that I suck at painting nails so if, you, if I could get my nails to look at least this decent I'm happy with that you know what I mean so this nail polish that I'm currently wearing is called Spice is Nice and it's by the brand Pop Arazzi and this is from CVS I got it from CVS it's like two dollars and I absolutely love this I have a whole bunch on my nail rack behind me 
you can't see it but i have a whole bunch of this brand because i absolutely love the color payoff very pigmented the colors last a very long time and they don't separate after a year or two years i've had mine for so long like and i look at it and the colors are still not separated so i love this you can find these in your local i guess pharmacy store or something like that but these are so super cute i love the packaging that it has and they're so cheap and of course i buy things by their name so spice is nice it's super cute and that's what caught me i'm not a red nail polish kind of girl especially when i have short nails but this one was like super cute so i was like hmm and it kind of matches just a little bit kylie cosmetics all nighter <laughs> so kind of i was inspired i guess you can say i was inspired so i got this one and i also got some more like glittery nail polishes but this is the one i'm currently wearing on my thumbnail and also my pinky nail over here and this is called i can't see it but it's from the brand cnd and it's covered because i got it from from sally's beauty on clearance and this is called Cli kiss plus teal i don't know why i got this one that's not a really clever name but i just love the sparkle so you can really see it like that so pretty i love it I, I love a nice sparkly nail, even if it's just one nail on my hands, I, I, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but what's really been getting my nail health back on track has been this little beauty right here. It's by Sally Hansen, Hard as Nails Hardener. This is what I've been using. I usually use this uh, as a base underneath my actual nail polish. And then um, every other every day, I paint over top of my nail polishes this hardener every day. That way, by the end of the week, when I do my manicure, my nails will actually be long. My nails were literally at the nail bed. Like, they were so unhealthy. They were broken in between. Like, in the middle of my nail, they were already split. A lot of them. Especially my pinky nail. This one here. And also this ring finger nail here. Like, it was really bad. You guys don't even know. But I've been... I've been using this for about two weeks now just to get my nail health back on track. And it has really been helping. Even if a nail does break, like file it down, um, I learned that when you file your nails in one direction, it helps stop the breakage. So don't go back and forth with your nail filing, just file it in one direction because I used to do it back and forth and my nails were already really brittle and already really like weak, so that didn't help. But I stopped doing that and my nails actually started to look healthy. They're actually getting longer. I'm able to shape them the way that I want now so I'm really happy with that I am absolutely loving my nail polish stuff and all of my new beauty stuff so if you guys like this video I hope you guys loved it I hope it was helpful if you guys try any of these products please let me know how you like them in the description in the, in the comments box or if you guys have any suggestions just comment them to me so that way I know and I'll see you guys in my next video bye